Hi, I'm Steve Florio, the Executive Director of the Rhode Island Commission on the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. This month's video log is about primary elections. A primary election is when voters select the candidate that will represent each political party. For example, if the Democratic Party had several candidates vying for an elected position, the primary election will allow voters to select the candidate to represent that particular political party. And that's for every elected position. The primary election will take place on September 9th 2014. If you haven't yet registered to vote, unfortunately you've missed the deadline to participate in the primary election. However, I strongly encourage you to register to vote so that you're eligible to participate in the general election, which will take place on November 4th. For those individuals who are already registered, if you're registered as a Democrat, you'll be eligible to vote for a candidate for the Democratic Party. Likewise, if you're registered as a Republican, you'll be eligible to vote on a candidate from the Republican Party. If you're neither a registered Democrat nor Republican, if you consider yourself independent or non-affiliated to any political party, then you can participate in the general As you'll see in the following slides, the Democratic Party will be represented by a blue color. So for the various elected positions, such as governor, lieutenant governor, and so forth, Democratic candidates will be indicated in blue. Those candidates that are represented in red will indicate the Republican Party. So for each elected position, we'll take a look at each of the candidates. For U.S. Senators, Now the U.S. House of Representatives for District 1. U.S. House of Representatives, District 2. Governor of the State of Rhode Island. Lieutenant Governor of the State of Rhode Island. Rhode Island Secretary of State. General Treasurer.
Rhode Island Attorney General. The candidates for state senator and state house of representatives. We're not shown on the list of photos. However, we encourage you to look in your local newspaper and on the website to see which candidates represent your geographic area. However, those candidates will be on the ballot for the primary election. So that's our video log about the primary election. You've had the opportunity to see slides and pictures of each of the candidates. We strongly encourage you to take a look online to find out more information about each of the candidates. Most, but not all candidates, have their own websites. Listed on that website is information about their leadership skills, their experience, their vision for the future, what they'd like to improve for the state of Rhode Island. I encourage you to take a look and decide on which candidate you would like to vote for for the future of Rhode Island. Remember, your vote is valuable. Why? It's your right and it's your voice. That's all for today. So long.